However, note that, of course, with many other kind of tests that we, we might run, we might have different distributions of the data and we might have no idea what the effective, uh, you know, what, what, the, what the results will look like. We might be testing something that we have no idea, uh, but it's good to start with kind of height. So we could potentially select a small number of men whose heights seem to reflect the heights of all men. So you might say, hey, look, if I was to take a sample, the question, of course, will then be, how am I going to take a sample of men? I can't test all men in the population to see what the average height of, of men are. But what I could do is take a sample. Well, how am I going to take the sample? Well, I ha you might say I have an idea in my mind of basically how tall people are. So why don't I just choose in my sample men that I think look about average, and then I'll, and then I'll select men that have uh, a distribution that I think is about right that mirrors the actual distribution, and then it'll be easy for me to pick my sample. However, uh, we're starting with a lack of knowledge about the overall distribution of heights across the entire population of adults. So the, the problem with that, of course, is you, you're assuming that you know the answer <laughs> To, what, to the problem that you're trying to solve, right? So you can't, so if we, if we already knew the answer of the middle height, then of course, picking a sample would be easy. It would also be defeating the point because we would just simply be picking a sample that ties out to the actual height. And this seems like kind of obvious. However, uh, you'll, this, this kind of thing happens sometimes, right? Because we start to think, well, if I'm gonna pick a sample, it would be better since I already have some knowledge about the sample. It would be easier if I just picked people that I know are kind of in the middle already. But clearly by doing that, then you're inserting your own bias into the sample. And that's so you're trying to help things out in that case, because you, you think you know something about the world and you're going to pick a sample that kind of reflects what you already know. But in doing that, then, of course, you're putting a bias into the sample and that's going to you know cause a problem and if you're wrong about the assumption then of course what your bias in the in the sample is going to mess up the whole thing so the whole point is then that you have to have some kind of randomness involved so this is going to be the key for the statistics when we pick the sample we have to have randomness now sometimes you could have different kinds of picking uh, uh, that, that could be more complex than just simply total randomness but there's always going to be some format of randomness uh, in, a, in a sample whenever we're picking it because we don't we want to remove the biases when we pick the sample so we're going to have we're going to use the idea that we don't know we're going to say i i know i don't know right it's a tough thing to do i know i don't know i'm not going to try to help when i know i have no idea what i'm doing right that <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna use the idea that i have no idea and then i'm gonna try to pick completely randomly and and then we'll see then we'll then we'll go from there and then we have an unbiased kind of set of data would be the idea so randomness random selection is crucial to gathering the representative sample so this this key is going to come up again and again if we're trying to say i want to take a sample that's going to tell me something about the entire population i have to generally you have to use randomness in some way shape or form to pick the sample uh and that's and and that can be more nuanced. So we'll talk about problems to do that more in the future, but that's the key concept. So the concept of randomness ensures that every individual in the population has an equal chance of being selected in the sample. Now, in some cases, you might be able to do that. In other cases, you will not in real life. If you're taking a poll, for example, for voting, it's gonna be very difficult to say that every 